Hello, my name is Don McNeil. I'm a product manager with Parker Hannifin Corporation. We've put together a system to demonstrate some of the capabilities of our motion and fluidics combined into a single system. Why don't we start with the diluent station? So the first session we are simulating here is a diluent station. The way we're doing that is with a pneumatic pump pressurizing this liquid, which is water. That pressure is being controlled very precisely by this electronic pressure controller. What that allows us to do is have the pressure inside the, the reservoir consistent so that the right flow comes through. That flow is then pushed through some of our rocker isolation valves that are very inert and out the tips into the wells. The second station that we have is our reagent station. What we have here is four bottles, again being pressurized by the pneumatic pump and the pressure controller. What this allows us to do now is to push reagents, which are simulated by these different colors, through our Teflon isolation valves. These valves are very inert, so they allow us to work with some very caustic reagents. Those are then pushed through these tips into the microwell plates, simulating adding a reagent now to that sample. The next station that we have is a simulated detector station. We just have some lights. The customer would be indicating what, what sort of detector station would go there to analyze the sample. And then finally, we have a waste manifold with eight tips, which lower themselves down into the microwell plates. And we have a liquid pump here that pulls that out and into this waste reservoir so that we remove all the waste from the microwell plates. Parker Hannifin Corporation is a world leader in motion and fluidics. We have a long history of working with life science manufacturers in integrating these solutions into their products. So we can partner with you and your solutions in order to give you the best solution in liquid and motion control. And with that, I'm going to turn the time over to Mike Cezerniak, who's going to talk to you about the motion side of the system. Hi, my name is Mike Cezerniak. I'm a product manager with Parker Hannifin, and I'll be walking through the mechanical and electrical components on this motion and fluid handling system. We're starting here with our X-axis, which is the LCR product line. It's a belt and screw-driven actuator available in a 22 millimeter and 30 millimeter profile. What this allows us to do is traverse the plate down the system, giving you almost infinite points along the axis where you can stop. The next axis here is our Y-axis, which is our MX-80L stage. It's a stage that's available in five different drivetrains, a manual stage, a micrometer-driven stage, a ball screw stage, a lead screw stage, and then the one we're showing here is our linear motor stage. It gives you 5G acceleration with sub-micron positioning. The last axis we have on the system is our MX45, which is a 45 millimeter wide stage, available in both a precision ball screw and a Teflon coated lead screw, giving you very smooth motion, and it comes available in a 5, 15, and 25 millimeter stroke. So that's this station right here. Next we'll move on to the electronics. The first one I'm going to start with is our HMI. This is our Interact Express product. It's both hardware and a software package. The Express software package is an award-winning software system known for its graphic capabilities. We also have the ability of doing distributed control where we can update and monitor uh, the system from anywhere across the country, anywhere you have an ethernet connection. Next, we'll go to the motion controller. It's our ACR 9600 motion controller. It's available in two, four, six, or eight axes of either stepper or servo motor driven control as an analog version. There's also an EPL version, Ethernet Power Link version available that allows you to have 16 axes of truly coordinated motion. Next we go to the amplifiers in the system. We have a couple different ones, a servo amplifier for the servo the linear motor here, and then we have some stepper drives. The one I want to point out though is the ION drive. It was designed for the life science market. It's one inch by one inch by three inches deep. Very compact design, uh, designed specifically for the, this industry. And lastly, we have our IPS T-slot aluminum framing, the frame that's built the system on. This product is used for everything from machine guarding to lab automation tables. You can build clean rooms out of it. It's a very versatile product line, and it's what the machine base is built out of for this system. In conclusion, what we're showing you here is really the power of Parker's system capabilities. We're able to take electronics, mechanics, and fluid handling components and integrate that into an engineered solution for our customers.